Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel uh, where we make personal finance simple and straightforward. Today we are tackling a big question. What type of life insurance should you get? Specifically, I will compare whole life insurance and term life insurance and I will explain why term insurance might be the better choice for most people. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is life insurance? Life insurance is a contract between you and an insurance company. You pay premiums and in return, the company promises to pay a death benefit to your beneficiaries if you pass away during the policy term. So it's essentially financial protection for your loved ones. There are two main types of life insurance, whole life insurance and term life insurance. So let's break them down. Whole life insurance is a type of permanent life insurance. It provides coverage for your entire life and includes saving component known as cash value. You can borrow against this cash value or even surrender the policy for it. However, whole life insurance is usually expensive with premiums that can be 5 to 10 times higher than term insurance. Term life insurance, on the other hand, is straightforward. It provides coverage for a specific period like 10, 20 or 30 years. If you pass away during that term, you ben your beneficiaries will receive the death benefit. If you outlive the term, the coverage ends and there is no payout or cash value. The upside, it's much more affordable. So why might term insurance be better for most people? Let's break it down with some numbers. <clears throat> Let's say you are 30 years old and considering a 500,000 life insurance policy. For whole life insurance, you could be paying around $400 per month for this coverage. Over 30 years, that $144,000 in premium. Now, let's look at term life insurance. For the same coverage, a 30-year term policy might cost you only $30 per month. Over 30 years, that's just $10,800 in premium. That's a difference of $133,200. So what can we do with this extra money? If you invested that difference and earned an average 7% return net of inflation per year, you would end up with around $300,000 by the end of 30 years. But what about cash value? Some people argue that the cash value of the whole life insurance is a great investment. But the truth is that returns on cash value are often quite low, typically around 2 to 4%, and it can take years before the cash value even exceeds the amount you have paid in premiums. Meanwhile, if you invest the difference in premiums in a diversified portfolio, you could potentially see much higher returns over time. So when whole life insurance can make sense, yes, there are some situations when it has a place. If you have a high net worth and need permanent coverage for estate planning, or if you have a dependent with special needs who will require lifelong care, whole life might be worth considering. But for most people, term life insurance paired with smart investing is the way to go. In summary, term life insurance gives you the coverage you need at a fraction of the cost. Use the money you save on premiums to invest and grow your wealth over time. If you found today's video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more straightforward financial advice. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.